Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are preparing to welcome a baby boy, Star reports. Royal Insider's suspicions that the Duchess of Sussex was pregnant were confirmed earlier this week with the couple's announcement on Monday. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, a statement read. Later, Charles was spotted walking into Buckingham Palace holding two blue teddy bears. Charles looked so happy, a palace insider told Star. Watching Harry become a father himself will be a very proud moment for Charles. According to Star, Harry's close bond with nephew Prince George has made him especially excited to welcome a son of his own. Harry can't wait to become a dad and he's already got a name picked out, an insider tells. Truly, everyone will be thrilled. This is something Harry and Meghan have both dreamed of. The news is especially exciting for Harry's grandmother. Queen Elizabeth II. We haven't seen the Queen that happy and that excited in a long time, it was wonderful to see, an insider revealed to New Idea earlier this year. The source went on to say the mood has really continued throughout the palace since they returned. And no one could be happier. Royal expert Katie Nichol revealed that Meghan will make the perfect mother-to-be. Meghan is very doting with children. She is very maternal and she was thrilled to meet George and Charlotte. I think one of the lovely things that I discovered, while writing, the book was it was actually a moment involving children when Meghan really fell for Prince Harry, she said. Prince Harry has revealed he's hoping that his first child with wife Meghan Markle is a girl. During his appearance at an Invictus Games event on Sunday, Prince Harry, 34, let slip his preference after a bystander congratulated him on the pregnancy. Congratulations, I hope it's a girl, the royal fan was heard shouting. So do I. Prince Harry responded. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their baby news last Monday, shortly after their arrival in Sydney for the Invictus Games. Despite reportedly being around three months pregnant, Meghan, 37, has largely kept pace during their jam-packed tour of Australia, which has seen stopovers in Dobbo, Melbourne and will today take them to Fraser Island in Queensland. Kensington Palace said on Sunday that Meghan will be taking a step back from the limelight across the rest of the tour, after skipping an event yesterday morning due to tiredness. As a solo Harry left the medal ceremony at the Invictus Game cycling event, disappointed onlookers yelled out, Harry, where's Meghan? He told the crowd, she's resting at home. Being pregnant takes its toll. While Meghan is accompanying her husband to Fraser Island, she will no longer be taking part in her official duties there. After a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour, Kensington Palace said in a statement. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. It comes amid reports that the royal couple plans to raise their child to have a relatively normal life. A source claiming to be friends with Harry and Meghan told UK newspaper The Sunday Times that they don't want their child to assume any official royal role. That word normal looms very large for Harry and Meghan when it comes to their child's future, the source told the publication. The royal baby is due in the British spring, which runs from March until May, and will be seventh in line to the throne. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expecting their first child, revealing the news just five months after their wedding in May. But what did the Queen give Harry just hours before the announcement was made public? Meghan Markle is pregnant, having released the news to the public early this week while on tour in Australia. Meghan and Harry revealed the next royal baby is on the way, destined for delivery in spring 2019. The royal baby was announced to the public via Kensington Palace on Monday to public celebration. Meghan and Harry revealed the news to other members of the royal family earlier the previous week, however. And Prince William and Kate, the Queen and Prince Philip, and his father Prince Charles were able to congratulate the happy couple at the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank. 
Before announcing it to the rest of the family, Harry first told his grandmother, the Queen. Her response to the news was to provide Harry with a treasured position at her side. Prince Harry has been named personal aide de camp by the Queen, which bestows some big responsibilities on the Prince. The official announcement came from the court circular, which read, The Queen has been pleased to appoint the Duke of Sussex as a personal aide de camp to Her Majesty with effect from 13th of October, 2018. The personal aide-de-camp position is awarded by the Queen as an official military role. Only people who have served in the military as a senior officer can take the role. And the position is normally awarded to royal family members. Primarily an honorific position, as aide-de-camp Harry will be a representative for the Queen at certain events, including the state opening of Parliament. There are certain ways of dressing for the role when performing these duties which for Harry will be wearing a golden aiguillette, braided rope. Set over the right shoulder and chest of a military uniform, the rope is distinguishing for that role only. Those taking on the position will be permitted to use post-nominal letters after their name, as one might with a degree or certain accreditation, of ADCP. Despite the announcement only being recent, people are already theorizing on future names. At the moment Harriet is trending according to bookmakers Ladbrokes. Harry's discussion about possible names while on tour in Australia prompted a flurry of bets forcing odd slashes from 66-1 to just 33-1. Alex Apati of Ladbrokes said, Royal punters will look for any giveaways over the next few months and Harry's recent comments suggest his firstborn might just share a similar name with the prince himself. Meghan Markle is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring, but how exactly will she will spending her maternity leave and spare time? Kensington Palace confirmed Meghan and Harry will welcome their first baby next year who will be seventh in line to the throne. The palace said, their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan is expecting to give birth in the spring of 2019 and she has reportedly had her 12-week scan, and many royal correspondents are speculating that she will give birth in April or May next year. The gender of the baby has not been confirmed and Meghan and Harry are likely to follow in William and Kate's footsteps by not revealing the gender until after the child is born. The couple are on their first official foreign tour together in Australia, which is where they broke the news of the pregnancy. When asked by a group of schoolchildren what they would name their firstborn on board a tram in Melbourne during their trip, the Duchess said, We've been given a long list of names from everyone, we're going to sit down and have a look at them. Ella Burns a 12-year-old pupil from Albert Park Primary School said, she said that she hasn't thought of one as it was still quite early. Meghan will be taking time off after the birth of her first child, just as Kate has done when she gave birth to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge returned to work on October 2 after a six-month break from official engagements. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham told Bazaar.com. It is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements. Meghan revealed to be like most of us when she revealed what she likes to do in her spare time. The Duchess told 12-year-old Ella she didn't have much spare time but when she does she enjoys relaxing and watching TV shows. But she did not disclose which was her favorite, there's heaps, I can't think of a specific one. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend much time relaxing during her maternity leave this time as she spent a lot of time doting on her two other children, Prince George, 5 and Princess Charlotte, 3. Kate carried on with her motherly duties, picking up and dropping George at Thomas's Battersea. And dropping off her daughter Charlotte to Wilcox Nursery School, which is one mile away from home. The Duchess tries to keep a low profile during her maternity leave but some images from her pregnancy of Princess Charlotte showed her dropping George to Buckingham Palace for his swimming lessons.
Despite Kate being on maternity leave earlier this year she was spotted in public on numerous occasions. Namely at the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Louis christening and trooping the colour.